Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square OABC fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the circumference uh, of this uh, quarter circle is equal to the area of this uh, very same uh, quarter circle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the area of this uh, quarter circle is equal to the circumference. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. So therefore, the quarter circle area is going to be equal to this uh, circle area divided by 4. So therefore, I can write uh, pi r square divided by 4. Let me call this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's recall the circumference of a circle. It is equal to 2 pi times uh, radius uh, r. And now our task is uh, to calculate the circumference uh, of this uh, quarter circle. And we know this uh, OQ and OP are the radii of this uh, very same uh, quarter circle. Let me label uh, them as uh, radius lowercase r and this uh, radius lowercase r as well. And just keep in your mind that circumference uh, is same as the perimeter of uh, this uh, quarter circle. That means this whole length OQ plus this whole length uh, OP and this uh, arc uh, PQ. So therefore, uh, the circumference of this quarter circle is going to become uh, R plus R is going to make uh, 2 times uh, R plus uh, this uh, arc uh, circumference which is going to be 2 pi r, since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle, we are going to divide it by 4. So this is going to give us uh, 2 pi r divided by 4. And now we can see 2 pi r divided by 4 could be reduced to pi r divided by 2. So therefore, this could be written as 2r plus uh, pi r divided by 2. Let me call this our equation uh, 2. And here we are ended up with this uh, quarter circle area and the quarter circle uh, circumference uh, as well. And now we know that the area of this quarter circle is equal to the circumference. So therefore, I'm going to equate uh, these uh, equations. So therefore, I can write uh, pi r square divided by 4 must be equal to the circumference is 2r plus pi r divided by 2. Let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 4 across the board with each and every term. So this 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore we ended up with the pi r square equals to a times r plus this reduces to simply 2 times uh, pi r. And since I'm going to solve for uh, radius uh, r, so therefore I'm going to divide both uh, sides by pi r, pi r, and uh, pi r across uh, the board. And make sure that r radius is not equal to 0. And here on the left hand side, uh, we can uh, reduce this to, to simply radius r equals to this r and r is gone. So therefore, we ended up with uh, 8 uh, divided by pi plus uh, over here this pi r and pi r is gone. So it's ended up with the simply 2. So thus our radius uh, r turns out to be 2 plus uh, 8 uh, divided by pi. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B. And we can see that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. Let me label this one as a lowercase r as well. 
and we can see that this uh, OB is also the diagonal of this uh, square OABC and this uh, AC is the diagonal of this very same uh, square and since uh, these diagonals OB and AC are equal in length so therefore uh, this uh, AC is going to be the radius uh, R as well so therefore we conclude that our this uh, AC length uh, is uh, lowercase uh, r and now let's focus on this square OABC since all these uh, sides lengths uh, are uh, equal let me go ahead and label them uh, x uh, x uh, x uh, and uh, length uh, x and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, is the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this uh, square is uh, x so therefore the area of this square OABC is going to be simply x uh, whole uh, square and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, diagonal uh, AC divides the area of this uh, square into two equal parts the area of this uh, white triangle and the area of this uh, blue triangle and both areas are equal so therefore the area of this triangle uh, ABC is going to be the half of this uh, square area so therefore this blue triangle ABC area is going to be x square divided by 2 let me label this our equation uh, number 3 and now our task is uh, to find the value of x square to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle and here's our next step let's focus on our this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x square plus uh, x square equal to r square so therefore uh, 2x square turns out to be equal to r square now I'm going to divide both sides by 4 so therefore the left hand side is going to become uh, x square divided by 2 equals to r square divided by 4 and now let's make an observation we can see that this blue triangle uh, ABC area is x square divided by 2 and here x square divided by 2 is uh, r square divided by 4 so therefore we conclude that this uh, blue triangle ABC area is going to be r square divided by 4 and now we know our radius uh, r is uh, 2 plus 8 uh, divided by pi so therefore I'm going to substitute uh, that value over here so therefore this equation is going to become simply 1 uh, divided by 4 times this uh, r square which is going to be 2 plus 8 uh, divided by pi whole uh, square and if we simplify everything on the right hand side uh, so the, our blue triangle ABC area is going to be approximately equal to 5.1 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC turns out to be approximately equal to 5.17 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye